7 Deadly Food Combinations That You Don't Know About Are you tired of feeling sluggish after meals? Do you ever wonder why certain food combinations leave you feeling bloated or uncomfortable? Well, the answer might lie in your diet. Imagine this, you're eating what you think is a healthy diet, but you still find yourself falling ill frequently. What if I told you that some food combinations could secretly be weakening your body's defenses? The seemingly enticing and delicious food combinations unwittingly lead to fatal consequences. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, in the United States estimate that each year, about 48 million people get sick from foodborne illnesses. This leads to approximately 128,000 hospitalizations and 3,000 deaths annually. But fear not. I'm not here to instill fear or make you give up your favorite foods. Instead, I'm here to share practical tips and alternative options to empower you in making informed choices and naturally boosting your health. So, grab a pen and paper because you'll want to jot down these insights. From unsuspecting food combinations to hidden additives, we'll uncover how seemingly harmless choices could be wreaking havoc on your health without you even realizing it. By cutting these out of your daily diet, you can achieve better balance and overall well-being. Don't click away just yet. Stick around until the end of the video because the information I'm about to share could potentially save you from future health issues. Let's get started with number 1. 1. Citrus Fruits and Dairy Combining citrus fruits, such as oranges, with dairy products like milk is a common practice in many cuisines, but few people are aware of the potential risks associated with this combination. Scientifically, there are reasons why mixing citrus fruits with dairy should be avoided, especially for certain individuals. One primary reason is related to digestion. Citrus fruits contain acids like citric acid, which can curdle the proteins in milk. When milk is mixed with acidic substances like citrus juice, it can lead to the formation of curdles or clumps in the stomach, causing discomfort or indigestion. This is because the acidity of the citrus fruit lowers the pH level of the milk, causing the proteins to coagulate and form curds. Furthermore, combining citrus fruits with dairy may also interfere with nutrient absorption. Citrus fruits are rich in vitamin C, which enhances the absorption of non-heme iron from plant-based foods. However, the calcium present in dairy products can inhibit the absorption of non-heme iron when consumed together. This can be particularly concerning for individuals at risk of iron deficiency, such as older adults or vegetarians who rely on plant-based sources of iron. To illustrate, a study published in the Journal of the American College of Nutrition found that consuming orange juice fortified with calcium significantly reduced the absorption of iron from a meal compared to drinking water. This highlights the potential impact of combining citrus fruits with dairy on nutrient absorption and overall health. Instead of combining citrus fruits with dairy, a better alternative is to pair them with non-dairy alternatives or other complementary foods. For example, you can enjoy a refreshing citrus salad with mixed greens, nuts, and a vinaigrette dressing. Alternatively, Citrus fruits can be incorporated into smoothies made with almond milk or coconut milk for a creamy texture without the dairy. Another option is to use citrus zest or juice as a flavorful garnish for dishes like grilled fish or roasted vegetables, adding brightness and acidity without the need for dairy. These alternatives not only avoid the potential digestive issues associated with combining citrus fruits with dairy but also offer a delicious and nutritious way to enjoy the refreshing flavors of citrus. Let's move on to another type of fruit that many people often combine with milk. Can you guess what it is? 2. Bananas and Milk Do you enjoy drinking banana smoothies with milk? Combining bananas with milk is a common practice in many cuisines, from smoothies to cereal toppings. However, there are scientific reasons why this combination may pose potential health risks, particularly for certain individuals. One primary reason is related to digestive issues. Bananas contain enzymes that may interfere with the digestion of dairy proteins, such as casein and whey. These enzymes, particularly amylase and sucrase, 
can break down starches and sugars in bananas, leading to incomplete digestion of dairy proteins in the stomach. As a result, some people may experience discomfort, bloating, or gas after consuming bananas and milk together. Another concern is related to nutrient absorption. Bananas are rich in certain minerals, such as potassium and magnesium, as well as vitamins like vitamin C and B6. However, the presence of calcium and other minerals in milk may interfere with the absorption of these nutrients from bananas. Calcium can bind to other minerals in the digestive tract, forming insoluble complexes that are less readily absorbed by the body. Therefore, consuming bananas with milk may potentially reduce the bioavailability of essential nutrients present in bananas, leading to suboptimal nutrient absorption. Furthermore, there is a potential risk of allergic reactions for individuals with specific food allergies. While banana allergies are relatively rare, milk allergies are more common, particularly in children. Combining bananas with milk increases the likelihood of exposure to allergenic proteins present in both foods, which can trigger allergic reactions ranging from mild itching or hives to more severe symptoms like difficulty breathing or anaphylaxis. Instead of combining bananas with dairy, try pairing them with non-dairy alternatives like almond milk. Almond milk offers a creamy texture and subtle nutty flavor that complements bananas perfectly, without the potential digestive issues associated with mixing bananas and dairy. Additionally, almond milk is naturally lactose-free and lower in calories and fat than cow's milk, making it a healthier option for those watching their calorie intake or following a plant-based diet. You can easily create delicious and nutritious banana smoothies or oatmeal toppings by swapping dairy milk for almond milk. Now, we'll dive deep into the ocean. Let's explore the unique combination below and uncover its potential implications for health. 3. Fish and Dairy Combining fish with dairy products may appear appetizing, but there are significant health concerns associated with this pairing, particularly for certain individuals. A key issue lies in the realm of digestion and nutrient absorption. Fish boasts abundant proteins, notably myosin, whereas dairy products offer calcium and casein proteins. When consumed simultaneously, the calcium in dairy can impede the digestion of myosin in fish, resulting in digestive discomfort like bloating, gas, or indigestion. Additionally, this combination can foster the production of detrimental compounds within the digestive system. Certain amino acids present in fish, such as histidine, can react with dairy calcium to generate histamine, known for triggering allergic responses that manifest as headaches, itching, or nausea in sensitive individuals. Moreover, the risk of foodborne illnesses escalates. Raw or undercooked fish may harbor bacteria or parasites, while dairy products are also prone to bacterial contamination. Pairing these foods, as in sushi rolls with fish and dairy-based sauces, heightens the risk of food poisoning if proper handling and storage protocols are neglected. Furthermore, there's the potential for nutrient imbalances. While fish provides omega-3 fatty acids and lean protein, dairy products can be rich in saturated fats and cholesterol. Excessive consumption of this amalgamation could upset dietary equilibrium, potentially predisposing individuals to cardiovascular ailments such as heart disease or stroke. Instead of incorporating cheese into your seafood pasta, try enhancing the flavor with fresh herbs, lemon zest, or a light vinaigrette. These alternatives not only complement the delicate flavor of fish but also provide a healthier and more digestion-friendly option. Fresh herbs like parsley, basil, or dill can add brightness and depth to your dish, while lemon zest adds a refreshing citrusy note. A light vinaigrette made with olive oil, vinegar, and herbs can serve as a flavorful dressing that enhances the natural taste of the fish without overpowering it. By opting for these alternatives, you can enjoy a delicious seafood meal that is both satisfying and nourishing, without the potential digestive issues associated with combining fish and dairy products. Next, let's talk about meat. Do you think there are any types of food that, when combined with meat, would affect your health? 4. Meat and starches. Do you often eat meat with potatoes? 
the combination of meat and starches, such as potatoes, is a staple in many diets, yet the scientific underpinnings of potential digestive issues arising from this pairing often go unnoticed. Meat, rich in protein, necessitates acidic conditions in the stomach and the enzyme pepsin for digestion. Conversely, starches like potatoes are primarily carbohydrates, broken down by enzymes like amylase in the mouth and pancreas. When consumed together, the body may struggle to maintain optimal pH levels and enzyme activity, hindering efficient digestion. This can result in slower digestion and the fermentation of undigested food, leading to discomfort, bloating, and gas. Furthermore, the combination may elevate overall caloric intake, potentially contributing to weight gain and metabolic concerns over time. Certain cooking methods, like frying potatoes or consuming fatty meats, can exacerbate these issues. Similarly, highly processed starches such as white bread can spike blood sugar levels, compounding digestive discomfort when paired with meat. A study in nutrients found that meals high in both protein, from meat, and carbohydrates, from starches like potatoes, significantly prolonged gastric emptying time compared to single-nutrient meals, exacerbating feelings of fullness and discomfort. Instead of pairing meat with starchy sides like potatoes, consider opting for a colorful salad or steamed vegetables. These options not only provide essential nutrients and fiber but also support smoother digestion. Vegetables contain enzymes and fiber that aid in the breakdown and absorption of nutrients, promoting better digestive health. Additionally, the variety of textures and flavors in vegetables can enhance the overall dining experience, making your meal more enjoyable and satisfying. So, next time you're planning a meal, consider incorporating a variety of vegetables to complement your meat dish and support optimal digestion. Next, let's explore the realm of foods high in sugar. Are you curious to know what happens when they're combined with protein? 5. High Sugar Foods and Protein Combining high sugar foods with protein sources is a widespread dietary habit that often flies under the radar, yet it poses notable health hazards. One primary concern stems from the divergent impact on blood sugar levels. High sugar foods like sodas, pastries prompt rapid spikes in blood sugar due to their high glycemic index, while protein-rich foods like meat, fish, and poultry undergo a slower digestion process with minimal effect on blood sugar. However, when consumed together, the swift blood sugar surge induced by high sugar foods can trigger an exaggerated insulin response. Persistent overproduction of insulin can foster insulin resistance, elevating the risk of metabolic disorders such as type 2 diabetes, obesity, and cardiovascular disease. Additionally, Pairing high-sugar foods with protein can disrupt the body's satiety mechanisms, potentially leading to overconsumption. Although protein typically induces feelings of fullness and regulates appetite, the rapid blood sugar spike from sugary foods can override these signals, prompting increased cravings and calorie intake. Moreover, this combination can impede digestion. Sugary foods ferment in the gut, causing gas and bloating, while protein-rich foods necessitate different digestive enzymes. Consuming them concurrently strains the digestive system, culminating in discomfort, indigestion, and gastrointestinal disturbances. For instance, a study in the Journal of Nutrition showcased that meals high in both sugar and protein markedly elevated postprandial glucose and insulin levels compared to meals containing either component alone, indicating potential metabolic ramifications. One effective tip is to opt for natural sweeteners instead of refined sugars. For instance, instead of topping your Greek yogurt with sugary granola, try adding fresh berries or a drizzle of honey for sweetness. These natural alternatives not only provide a healthier source of sweetness, but also pair well with protein-rich foods without causing the rapid blood sugar spikes associated with refined sugars. By making this simple swap, you can enjoy the benefits of both protein and sweetness without compromising your blood sugar levels or overall health. Next, we'll move on to a type of food that is incredibly common in everyone's breakfast. Can you guess what it is? 6. Eggs and Dairy Do you usually eat eggs and drink milk in the morning? Combining eggs with dairy, 
such as milk or cheese, may seem like a harmless culinary choice, but there are scientific reasons why this combination can pose risks to health, particularly for certain individuals. One primary reason is the potential for bacterial contamination. Both eggs and dairy products are susceptible to contamination by harmful bacteria such as salmonella. When eggs are cracked open, the shell can contain bacteria that may contaminate the egg white or yolk. Similarly, dairy products like milk and cheese can harbor bacteria if not handled and stored properly. In fact, the combination of eggs and milk is often carried out at lower temperatures. When cooking eggs with milk, people typically add milk to the eggs before they coagulate, such as when making quiche or pudding. But, there is a risk of bacterial growth if the dish is not cooked to the proper temperature or stored at the correct temperature. Another concern is the potential for foodborne illnesses, including salmonellosis. Salmonella bacteria can cause symptoms such as diarrhea, abdominal cramps, fever, and vomiting, which can be particularly severe in older adults or individuals with weakened immune systems. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, salmonella infections are responsible for an estimated 135 million illnesses, 26,500 hospitalizations, and 420 deaths in the United States each year. The combination of eggs and dairy can also pose risks for individuals with specific dietary restrictions or allergies. For example, some people may be allergic to eggs or dairy, and consuming dishes that contain both ingredients can trigger allergic reactions ranging from mild discomfort to severe anaphylaxis. Moreover, there is a concern about the potential for nutrient absorption interference. Some research suggests that certain proteins in eggs may bind with calcium in dairy products, potentially reducing the absorption of calcium and other essential nutrients. This could be problematic for older adults who require adequate calcium intake to maintain bone health and prevent osteoporosis. Instead of combining eggs and dairy, a lesser-known yet healthier alternative is to use plant-based milk alternatives, such as almond milk or oat milk, with eggs in recipes. These milk substitutes not only provide a creamy texture but also offer added nutritional benefits like vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. For example, when making scrambled eggs, try substituting cow's milk with unsweetened almond milk. This swap not only reduces the risk of bacterial contamination but also caters to individuals with lactose intolerance or dairy allergies. Additionally, it enhances the flavor profile of the dish while promoting overall health and well-being. Last but certainly not least, let's explore a common combination for dieters. However, the hidden truth behind it may surprise you. 7. Fruits and Grains Do you like eating fruits with grains? Mixing fruits with grains, such as bread or cereal, is often heralded as a healthy dietary practice, but comprehending the scientific rationale behind this combination's potential health effects is paramount, as it may yield unforeseen consequences. One critical factor influencing the impact of pairing fruits with grains is their disparate digestion processes. Fruits boast simple sugars swiftly absorbed, leading to rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. Conversely, grains harbor complex carbohydrates digested more gradually, resulting in a slower blood sugar elevation. When ingested together, the swift blood sugar surge from fruits can prompt insulin secretion, precipitating energy fluctuations, cravings, and hunger. Prolonged exposure to this cycle may foster insulin resistance, metabolic ailments, and heighten the susceptibility to type 2 diabetes. Furthermore, blending fruits and grains can disturb gut microbiota equilibrium. While fruits furnish prebiotics nurturing beneficial gut bacteria, coupling them with grains, particularly refined ones, may lack ample fiber for optimal gut health. Certain grains may even contain anti-nutrients impeding nutrient absorption or irritating the gastrointestinal tract. Additionally, the amalgamation might compromise nutrient utilization efficiency. While fruits abound in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, grains offer carbohydrates and vital nutrients. Nonetheless, 
consuming them concurrently might impede nutrient absorption owing to food component interactions or grains anti-nutrient content. Studies suggest that pairing high glycemic index foods like bread or cereal with fruits substantially heightens blood sugar levels compared to consuming fruits alone, thereby influencing metabolic health and blood sugar regulation. When it comes to combining fruits and grains, it's best to avoid mixing high-sugar fruits with refined grains like white bread. Instead, opt for pairing fruits with whole grains such as oats or quinoa. Whole grains contain more fiber and nutrients, which can help slow down the absorption of sugars from fruits and prevent rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. This combination provides a healthier balance of carbohydrates, fiber, and nutrients, promoting better digestion and sustained energy levels throughout the day. If you found the information in this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more insightful content like this in the future. Do you know of any other food combinations that could pose risks to health? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll explore them further in upcoming videos. In conclusion, while overlooking the risks associated with these seven dangerous food combinations may seem insignificant, it's crucial to recognize that understanding the potential dangers transcends geographical boundaries. In our globalized world, exposure to diverse cuisines and ingredients is inevitable. Therefore, staying informed is key to protecting yourself from unforeseen health risks.